So what we're going to do tonight is we're going to start from the big, 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 big broad picture and we're going to come down gradually, 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 gradually into 2013. And if you start looking at me funny, then I'll know you have a question and, and you can speak, you know I mean? Don't be sitting there going, what the hell? Okay. So, the main thing, the earth is like a top. It spins around like a top. Every 26,000 years, it will return back to where it was. We're at one of those points in that 26,000 years where the planet is actually in this position in respect to the center of the galaxy. Now, whether that's the start, the middle, the beginning, the, you know, we're going to take that, we're going to at least going to take that 26,000 years and we're going to cut it into four. Because if we go back 6,500 years, we go back through 6,500 years of patriarchal, male-dominated, exclusive, socio-cultural, religious conditioning. If we go back 6,500 years before that, it was the female, matriarchal, feminine, inner, good of the group, connected to the earth more, yeah, the feminine. So then if we go back 13,000, half that 26,000 year cycle, then it's neo-archaic time after that. Or Atlantis, Lemuria, we get back into other, you know, other changes. But we can at least look back and say that the time now has something to do with the balance of yin and yang, with the balance of the masculine and feminine, with the balance of the light and the dark. And we really want to look at this so much in terms of, I mean, especially it just like whacked me this morning, <laughs> you know, Gaia, Earth, Mount Shasta, a volcano. How awesome. The lava goes down to the core. Yeah? So we're sitting here and we're like in the, we got this portal, right? To get down in. So when I'm talking about feminine, I am talking about in. The feminine signs are the earth and the water signs and they are in. And it's dark. And it's often moist, wet, mushy, gushy, chaotic. In shamanic astrology, there's three worlds. In shamanism, there's three worlds. There's the upper world, the middle world, and the lower world. The lower <laughs> chakras, three lower chakras, the feminine, the internal, the feeling, the chaos, we come into the middle world, and it's, and it's Pluto, Chiron, Lilith, and Saturn. But Saturn is actually a little more with Jupiter up here in the middle realm, which is our conscious ego daily reality. We have goals, ambitions, you know, we're seeking results, we have, you know, we're navigating through our daily reality. We wake up. And then we have the upper world, the sky gods, Uranus, god of the sky, and Neptune, god of the oceans, but having so much to do with the infinite spiritual imagination, inspiration, it's the light. <laughs> and there's no time or space up there either, so that's chaos. So we've got chaos up there and we got chaos down there. <laughs> we got one little chakra here in the middle <laughs> where we can get our shit together. Otherwise, it gets blown apart. <laughs> uh, oh man, we're definitely outnumbered. One to six. <laughs> so we're in this time now. We're in this time now of, of a rebalancing 
So the pendulum is, you know, the pendulum swings. The matriarchy was not heaven on earth either. Okay? <laughs> you know, the women did just as much nasty stuff, whatever. And then it swung back and, the, and we had the masculine experience. And they did all kinds of disasters. So we're just, you know, it's swinging and it's coming back and forth. And the main thing to remember now is when I say masculine and feminine, I'm not talking men and women. We are both masculine and feminine, the anima and the animus. And I really wanted to talk about this tonight because I was, you know, it, it kind of came through today. This is just so bizarre. I'm going to try to explain this. It's 